Greetings, everyone, to Wi-Fi Plays Metal Slug Tactics. <laughs> I've never played the old Metal Slugs at all. Um, I think they were side scrollers or something, weren't they? I'm not 100% sure. But this one's Tactics, so it's a R uh, tactical RPG. You have characters and you fight on maps, turn based. Could be caught a call. This is the demo from Steam Next Fest. I wanted to check it out. So let us continue. Can't continue. New game. After escaping justice once again, General Donald Morden has freed his old friends from the rebel army and declared martial law in Sirico City. Now the base for his latest erratic attempts at conquest. Thousands are held hostages by the regime. The world government sends the only team hot-headed and irresponsible enough to match Morden blow for blow. Let's do it. Ready. Mission. Start. Finally, Major. Not a second to lose. Your fellow soldiers need you. Let's do it. Camera. WASD. Free. Uh, got a bit of a. Uh, I don't know what you call it. You, you start off slow and it goes faster and it slows down at the end. So it feels kind of nice, but slow ish. But it's good. Better than jolting. Um, moving the mouse wheel, holding the scroll wheel. Oh yeah, okay. Right click to close. Click to close. Okay. This is a Marco, one of your units. Select him by left clicking, by clicking on him or pressing the F1. Character actions. These are your actions. Move. Each character has one of the of each per turn. Using an action before moving will also consume the character's move. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I never, I guess that's tactically good, but in the game, like, why can't you shoot and move? Fine. Close. This is the movement range. Mar move Marco here. Pretty shabby for a barricade. Pistol should be enough to destroy it. Yeah. Here are Marco's weapons. Select the handgun by clicking on it or pressing 1. Certain elements of the environment are destructible. Click on this object to attack and destroy it. Uh, Eric reported a rebel ambush. Haven't heard from her since. Yeah, well, there's two people right here. In your turn. Enemy turn. Look, looks like we got bullets. Um, then we have to reload. Marco by clicking on him and pressing F1. Move Marco. Can't move right there. Here. Yeah. Get out close and personal. Marco cannot take on both dead eyes at once. Under your move by clicking the button. Time is, the, time is of the essence. Flip something. Flip the switch. It'll drop on one of them. Is flicking a sweep for free action? Alright, let's do it. Click on the elements adjacent to your unit to interact with them. Uh, interacting does not consume an action, but will prevent you from undoing any previous moves. Use the switch, then select the camera impact zone to make the crane collapse. Okay. Oh, it's going to kill everyone with one hit. I could do explosives in there. Nice little animations. Click end your turn. Some units love actions or movement points. Are you sure you want to end the turn? Click end your turn. Kabam! Play your turn. Okay, good little tutorial. Uh, that Shirabla tank is well armed. Okay. Click and move him. Clicking. Move him here. Moving. Over long distances generates resources. Always try to move to the darkest color tiles in your movement range. Okay. Resources. This is your dodge. It reduces all damage sustained by the character. It cannot itself be it cannot itself be reduced. But the further you move from your starting point, the more of this resource you'll generate. Okay. Here is Marco's special weapon. Each character has one. Special weapons are more powerful than primary weapons, but are limited to max in max ammo. 
can be recharged after some missions. Select it by clicking, pressing 2. Beat the Grenada by clicking on him. But no worries. It doesn't explode or anything. We're going to get hit in the back here. Wonder if you get, if you hit people in the back or sides. Get close to that tank, Major. I think I know how to deal with it. We don't even care about getting shot. All right. Uh, this is your cover. It is protected from all incoming damage, no matter which direction the character is attacked from. What? So this guy attacks me. I get this cover. Cover is only <coughs> sorry. Cover is only provided by certain elements of the environment, highlighted in blue tiles. Okay. Some weapons and enemies with no cover ignore cover. Okay. This is your adrenaline. It is generated by the same way as you as dodge. Adrenaline is the resource you need to use special actions. I'm in the tank position and I'll send an airstrike. Here's micro special action. So 10 HP of damage in an area. Plus 11 adrenaline. Cool little effects. Kaboom. Lucky it disappears. In turn, gets shot again. But we got cover, so we take less damage. Take zero damage. When you close the ambush site, stay on high alert. Move Marco to here. We don't even care about people. Boom. Well. See you later, guys. Oh. Meet Airy and Flow. Select Theo. Sorry. Trigger your first synchronized by attacking this enemy. Synchronization. Okay. Trigger your first synchronized by attacking the enemy. With just a shot like this. Sink. It's time to stick his sword in the ground. All your characters have a synchronization passive. Things are automatic attacks. Deal damage to any enemy in range of another allied primary weapon to trigger it. That character will also attack the same enemy with their primary weapon. An attack or special action can only trigger the character's sink once per action. I dare hope that three of you will be enough to take on this squad. We'll try. Kill all enemies. Click here to mission objective. Finish the mission on your own. You will lose if you can no longer complete the main objective or if your characters are KO'd. Right click close. Roger that. This gives us some armor. Two probably. Okay. So we can't just attack. We got a grenade here. Now it's just throwing me in. I'm used to just letting it do what it wants. Uh, okay, so I can't move. I can move with them. Is it because he's had his think? He can't now move. He can still attack, can't he? Yes. Units next attack using the weapon as plus one hits per attack. Okay. You can only attack in one line. And this does four, 2 damage. Does 4, four damage. I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. But. This one can attack sideways. If I blow up this, does it? No. Probably good to get blow up this guy and then go into cover, potentially. Oh no, because then I can't move, so I should have moved first. I can't undo that. Got Mad Bomber. Organization. Alright, that was silly of us. Can't shoot anymore. This guy could, but... I could just take out this guy. Why not? What's this one do? 
Big start using. Oh yeah, that's right. Right up. Cool. All right. And I've got no other. Sp I, I guess I could have done a special abilities, but no more. Okay. Oh, he throws it at me. He grabs another one out. Okay. So, if I move here, that'd be better. But if I move here, we've got synchronized attacks everywhere. Is that And that stops her from moving? Maybe this one, because... I might be able to get another sink afterwards. Bounce. During this turn, the unit's movement will ignore differences in elevation. Okay, so I can move with her as well. If I shoot this as another sink. And then bounce is going to do nothing for me. Do we get adrenaline for each person we move? This gives four adrenaline and two dodge. But she can't move because she's shot. And he can't move because she's shot. Could do four. I guess why not? Okay. Can't do it again. No. Weird that it like, stays like that. I guess we've got one action per turn. How do we know if they've used their action? We forget. Who wants it? Our main character. Victory. The camel sleeping over here. Select three characters. Right click to close. Marco. <laughs> Airy. That's cool. Theo. Theo, Airy. Stunning abilities, etc. etc. Go. This whole screen's just for selecting characters at the moment. <laughs> box here all right you can probably change out maybe their starting abilities potentially in the future all right recruit difficulty balance campaign more challenging ways your enemies more difficult missions slightly greater re it credit reward welcome to the army default difficulty basic rewards two three four oh it's locked but the one with recruit. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Argon Palm Desert. Are you gonna be able to go anywhere? I'm guessing there's a storyline you gotta follow. <laughs> Door. Love to see you as always, Major. So ideally, we wouldn't have to meet quite so often. Been a long time. Been a long trip, Commander. Why am I here? Not in a chatty mood today, Rosie. Anyway, here's your mission briefing. Morden escaped captivity following the incident on Garbage Island. What does that not surprise me? No interruptions, please. Since escaping, he's been busy freeing his older friends, most of whom were waiting for their day to encamp in court. Little by little, he scraped together enough forces to build a base here in Jericho City. Over the objectives in the, of the locals, of, objections of the locals, of course. And it goes without saying that the open conflict is in an urban area that have devastating consequences and proved fatal for said locals. While well, we've chosen to send a small team into the city and take out the Morden. Now I understand why you're getting the sparrows together. Not, to, not so fast, Rosie. 
The path to Morden is guarded by three massive machines. Seems they're playing coy with us, even out of sight. All is not lost. The rebels have seized territories in the Urgan Palm Desert and Herkenet Tombs and the Salsop Jungle. If we live out these areas, the war machines will be forced to abandon their positions and intervene. And Morden? Are you sure we'll be able to capture him this time? Morden relies on his low life friends. Should keep an eye out for any chance to break, break those alliances up. In the meantime, the ball is in your court. Make your way through the battlefield and head to Morden's base in Surico City. Yes, ma'am. Peregrine Falcons, head out. Peregrine Falcons? What? Perfect name. Alright, so we've got ammo and equipment, maybe? Money and equipment. We've got more options if we go this way. Experience. And lots of gold coins. What's a shop? Is that a shop? Looks like a badge. Upgrade, maybe? Alright. <coughs> Sorry about the coughs. Can't help it. You'd have to be even dumber than Abbas to follow him around like a duckling. Secondary objective, kill 10 enemies for money. Buy four turns with at least one unit. At least one unit? What if you lose a unit? Oh my gosh. All right, we've got people we can save. We're gonna start right here, bringing selfies. <laughs> we got people with like bombs up here. Crate with something in it potentially. All right. We got <clears throat> some. So she'll be able to blow up both these guys. I mean, for four damage only though. Which is the bomb one? Her. Huh? I don't know how, like, survival missions and an automatic after the specific number of turns. Okay. Pardon me. Okay, we start, yeah? Mission start. This is pretty crazy. Just jump in the middle. Certain missions have different elevation levels. Most weapons cannot target units on other elevation levels. Characters can only climb up or down one elevation at a time. This is like an instant kill with our special weapon. Four damage. Oh, because the sink it kills him. And we can't shoot through people. No, but she can. We can get it. We can get two kills instantly here, which is probably worth it potentially. This does two damage only, but three hits. If we go here, we could save him and then take out this guy. How much ammo should we be using? How do we... Thank you. Five coins. He's got protection. Two, four, six damage. So he won't die. He's got six protection. No, it's giving him two, so he's gonna have five life left. Oh no, let's have a look what happens. Oh, I think I know, because there'll be a sink. But he will die. Okay. Zero damage. What? <laughs> Why has he got so much armor? Well, that sucked. I thought this gave two armor. Up a two. That was a bit weird. Well, let's take out one guy at least. So the red means they're going to die. The blue means they got full armor somehow. Feels good to do full damage on both of these, but is it better just to take someone out? Probably. Reinforcements incoming? There's enough here. <coughs> Balance determined. 
Each time the unit contributes to a frag, they gain a bonus move. They gain bounce. For this turn, the unit's movement ignores elevation difference. Okay, so we can start heading up here. Range probe weapon, the unit takes a target. Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. Alright, and then everyone's used their movement. And we're going to get pummeled to pieces. So I really didn't like that move. Don't know why he blocked 100% of the damage I did. So my guy's like dead pretty much instantly. Isn't this insane? <laughs> I'm just going to die instantly. Alright, what am I doing wrong, hey? This guy is impossible to kill. I guess we can go here and get two armor. Can I restart? Jeez. So I've already lost a guy. I'm just, I'm screwed. I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. This is six armor somehow. Okay. Or adrenaline and two dodge, but I can't shoot anyone. And if I move and then shoot, it doesn't work either. I could probably shoot this guy, I guess. He's only got one armor. He could go into that. Three armor? What? Oh, because of how much I move? Thinking it would do one damage to him because he's got four defense somehow. Okay. Thinking here does nothing. Why? If I shoot with a machine gun that does massive damage. Oh, because it's a two damage shot each. So each shot's being protected by two. So that's why I did no damage. Okay, I get you. We're just in big trouble. That's why that does would actually do some damage. I've got two life left. I'm just dead. I guess we could take one guy out here. But I would need to, I'm going to move here. Six. For, for two explosives dealing four damage. I should have moved more <clears throat> and then did, 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 like adrenaline move to take out a hold of people or something. I guess. Okay, reset turn times two. Oh, I could have reset my turn. It's all about cover and movement. So I'm taking zero damage now. And then they're all going to group up so I can do big area damage to everyone. But I can only reset. I should have reset a right at the start. Interesting that that's getting hit, even though. Okay. All right, so now we can do a great move, which is no, I can't. Nearly. I move. There's one defense here. This can only be done on on a line. Could go over here. This is giving me two defense somehow. Oh, because I'm close to that still or something. But then I could lob a grenade on these guys for four damage each. She might sink and kill that guy as well. And this gives us movement. 
Those two explosives dealing four damage. That'll sink and kill the second guy. Or I could do that. Two explosives. How do I set two up? I could do the same area. I could do another one there. Oh, but now I have to go this direction. But I can't do it in the same spot. Alright, oh, we'll love one over here, I guess. What's her thing again? Move target unit one to three tiles from its position. We can make someone else move? Oh, what? We can. Hmm. Would that be useful? We could move him here. And if she does that, will she not be able to move afterwards? Is this separate? Or then is she stuck with the movement? Okay, so we could move here. To gain four adrenaline. We could move someone, but probably not that guy anymore. But that should be okay. Okay. One to three. Let's get him out of cover. I'm trying to think how this works. Is he still in cover because he's so close to it there? And then throw two grenades, one here. Can't throw it where I wanted to throw it. I was thinking I could throw it here. I guess it explodes and then bounces around. Is she sinking that guy and not the guy in front of her? This is this is good. You sink that guy for some reason, that's fine. Now she can move again. And we'll gain armor here. And she's got a shot. No, she doesn't. Can't do an adrenaline thing either. She's got a shot though. What the heck? Oh, we're looking at his shot. Can she still shoot? Apparently not. What are we looking at here? She's got movement. And she's she's done her action, which was her special action. Okay. But you, we don't want her to move anymore. How can she move twice? So she moved over here. Then used that. And now she can move again. But she's got the armor, so we'll just stay put. Oh, this. Each time the unit uses a special action, they gain a bonus move. There we go. Oh, there's a lot to this. It's quite de in depth. I think you could have learned it all. All right. The units have actions. All it has is a move. Okay. So that's gone now. So next time we're dead. So she's going to die. This girl might stay on for a while. How many have we killed? Five people. That was very helpful for us. This guy, can he get to us? He can't. Oh! Still alive, guys. <coughs> uh, so this is defensive up here. We could throw two grenades, potentially, that might help us. Okay. I'm, I'm learning. These guys didn't even attack, nor did this guy. One turn left. 
We can do that and then that. I don't know how much I should be using these specials. I'm doing a lot just to try and get 10 kills here. If she gets extra movement. Now, what's this thing? Each time the unit uses a special action. We could save this guy and then shoot this guy. We've got no defense here. I don't know what saving people does. Um, then she'll probably die. We go here and take this guy out. One defense, two defense. All right, let's take this guy out. We'll save this one. Thank you. And then we'll take this guy out. One turn left. Do we have one more turn? Just got movement. But she could, no, she can't jump across there. What is this? We'll go over here. <coughs> okay. So she's got defense, but only one. Oh gosh. Two damage. Uh oh, she's dead. Not gonna be able to kill three people with one person, unfortunately. Okay, victory is ours. Jeez. All right, so now we know how it kind of works. We can see if we can do a lot better. Most civilians have been expected to go wild. Okay. What? We two? We saved two people, so I don't know what that means either. What is this? Astral rewards offer a choice between three mods. Base weapon can equip two mods at once. Can equip to three mods at once. Here's the mods, I guess. Choose a mod. Impressive. Range minus three. Pinpoint. Pinpoint. Plus one damage dealt to targets located at or beyond the end of the weapon's range. Beyond the end of the weapon's range? Shelling. Well, that's what this one is. Shelling. Doubles the damage dealt to vehicles and destructive environment elements. Seems pretty good. Impressive. Each time the unit contributes to a frag on a unit, they gain one adrenaline. Would be okay. This seems quite good. But if we need to take some some uh, tanks out, he's the tank buster. Okay. And we can only get one. Pretty sure. What's this one? Units next attack uses a weapon twice. Okay. Refuse plus 15 coins. You're great. That work? Did we get the correct one? Oh, this is choosing ability because she's leveled up. There's so much stuff going on here. All right. So, your character level up when they finish mission with a full, <coughs> sorry, full experience gauge. They get a choice between three skills. Choose rally between special actions and passive. Right click to close. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Vice protection. The next time the unit is attacked, cancel all damage taken, throw against bonus action. That seems pretty strong. Deal five damage, five HP of damage. A single person. Uh, gain two adrenaline applies flashback. After using an action, the unit gains a bonus action. These are pretty strong. And how do we know if these are passive or not? 
This uses six, seven adre adrenaline to use it. And special actors take up a whole action. So that so it's like, you may as well just shoot. This just seems better because you gain a bonus action next turn. Jeez. All right. Let's see how we go. This is pretty interesting. All right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we can go sideways as well, I guess. This is just like an extra one that we could do. Can we go anywhere? I don't even know. All right. We'll go up here, though. Kill all targets. Never have any KO characters during the mission. Easy. Yeah. We got this. Oh, okay. We're going to be put in the middle of action. Get ready. And we got to move. That's the main thing. Assassinate mission when all the targets have been killed. Kill all targets. Okay, so we're not going to get any reinforcements. Um, it'd be good to be able to get into cover on both sides. What did, what's this mark on them? Target, kill all targets. Oh, okay, so we have to specifically kill certain targets. All right. So we've got one here that we can sink straight away with. If someone else moves first and gets the sink hit. She only does two damage though. So it would have to be the other lady. She could come up here and do some stuff. Do you think reinforcements will keep coming then? I don't know how far they can move. If she could move there, take that guy on, get the armor, and get the sink kill, and then this guy could go somewhere else. I can look at the movement. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so she moves there, takes that, we get the kill. She... See, let's put her there. And then she moves here. It's going to get taken out pretty quick, though, isn't it? And throw something at that guy or something. Or maybe over this. And then this guy's another sink kill, potentially. I like that. Let's do it. Mission start. And a double sink kill? Is that even possible? All right, so we'll jump across here. Take the sink kill here. And then she runs to here. Only gets one defense though for some reason. Uh, she won't take any damage because of her stuff and we'll get double sink kill. We won't kill them that way. Let's take the two hits. It's knocked over. It's like, I've still got the sink. Okay. Now she can move if she wanted to, which would actually be quite good, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so then we got this guy. You could drop an artillery. Oh no. Units next act attack. How do we know? Is this how much action they use? No, that's how much adrenaline it costs. How do we know if that uses up an action? Because I can't use this even if I get enough adrenaline. Alright, so anyway, we'll move. So, okay, so the blue means that we're going to get covered by two, but the green means we're going to dodge that much amounts of damage. And you have to be in the blue area. So maybe we'll go here and take a kill.
bit more prepared than last time, hopefully. We have to keep using our special weapons though. They literally take a sword out of their mouth. I like it. I just saw that. Uh oh. Wow. Okay. <coughs> okay, so people are going to keep coming. Fair enough. And we can't shoot and... So we could come up here. Then they would struggle to kill us all, maybe? Maybe not. Alright, we'll think about that. You could do that and get one hit in the back. It's not strong enough. Problem. Now, she'll get an extra movement if um, contributes to a frag. So we could come... Hmm. They're hard to kill people. So we could we could look at like she could move here. Help out killing that guy, but only three damage. Doesn't have enough damage. She could throw Two bombs instead. All about sync kills. How far can this go shoot? Only until there, which it's <laughs> sorry. What's the range? Six. If he goes here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you could shoot that guy if he goes there. Got no defense though. And he can't. He could shoot himself, but someone else needs to be in range to shoot as well, which would be here, but then she can't shoot anyone. Um We want her to contribute. I guess she could throw a bomb. No, because if she throws a bomb here, she has to throw forward along this line. That might not help us. Does this mean you have to go here to get up here? I don't know who to move. <coughs> I can't see a way of doing multiple lots of good damage. Um, I'm, I was just thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, so I was thinking we can move here, I can shoot that guy, then he's on three, and then she could throw two bombs, uh, one on there, it would kill that guy, but then we wouldn't get this, we wouldn't have this thing, that doesn't really help us. This could be great, because he could get the sink kill here. But he's going to get attacked everywhere, he doesn't get extra movement. Each time the unit contributes to attack, it reduces the cost of special action by one. Per synchronized trigger the next turn. What's this do again? Attack twice. They gain bonus action. Each time the unit uses a special action with a cost of zero, they gain a bonus action. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to move there. Use this. I can use it on someone else. Then I gain another action. Which just means I get one action. Or do I get two actions? You get a sync even though I'm not shooting. I'm going to attack, but yeah, he's dead anyway. Do I get another action after this? No. <laughs> Interesting. So now she's got bounce, but that doesn't mean she gets to move twice now, fortunately. This guy's in range to kill no one. 
she moves here, she could take out that guy only. She could attack this guy and get a free attack here, but that doesn't really help us. She could protect against the next bit of damage that comes in. Alright, let's go over here. I don't know why. This could be pretty good. And this literally takes her turn away. You can put on someone else. When it says bonus action. Say, so I'll give him that. Strategic plan. Done. And she gets to move again. Because she gave sort of action. She can't shoot. She still can shoot. What the? I'm a little bit confused with how this works. But if I attack, I lose my movement. <laughs> we got to get up here somehow at some point. We don't have to use her movement right now. If I attack this guy. Doesn't kill him, unfortunately. This guy's got no movement or anything left. Five and three. We could come here and still get the sink. Let's say I do that. Then I could throw I can't throw it on the ball on the barrel. Damn. I can throw that one on the barrel, but not the other one. The barrel I thought would do damage down here. Okay. <coughs> okay, so that maybe is not the best position. Wait, I can get five up here, but I can't go further this way. Oh man, okay, I'm taking too long, I'm taking too long. We go up here. Then we can put a bomb down there, at least. Something. That's a kill? Okay. Then I can't put one elsewhere. I like that that actually gets something done. Oh, and then I can do more. Okay. Nearly that guy. Okay. Oh, what the? Got another action? And she's got another whole lot of movement. Can I throw up here if I move here? I'll get that guy out of the way, which would be great. No. Oh, she... So, what does that beer mean? Can't attack. Alright, we'll just wait over here. Well, she could come down here and get some defense. He's got movement. He, he's got movement. Oh. Okay. I'm so confused. So that's done that. Oh, she's got an action and movement. Okay, I was looking at the wrong person. What can she do? Um, she could take one out.
Doesn't seem too bad. How do we get <coughs> more ammo? Alright, done. Holy moly. The shield take four damage from this guy up here. I can attack. What the heck? I didn't know you could do that. God. And this guy's gonna kill her, so we're gonna lose this ammo. All your team special weapons. Wow, that would be amazing. All right, that's. I didn't realize he had a swiping attack. <clears throat> Lesson learned, I guess. Oh gosh. All right, we're gonna kill these three people. Oh my god. I can kill one. Yeah, I thought I was doing really well. Now I'm not. I can't shoot this guy because he's on the second level. I could get this guy and take a damage. Only gonna get one defense from going all the way up there. Hmm. Shouldn't I have got like a free dodge? That already happened. All right, this seems pretty smart because she should survive. Then I might be able to go up and jump on that guy later. Can this guy make? He can make it there. We're just going to get more and more people on us. Oh, I'm going here though. Take this guy out. We've got one more person. And we'll take this guy out and then just heal over. And then she's gotta take this guy out with one health next turn. But I can't I can't look at any other possible way to get out of this. This is on easy difficulty. That's it. He's dead. And then she's going to get attacked, but she's got the armor. That is three damage. Four. That's coming for her. But she does. They do six damage. <coughs> or maybe five damage. How much damage do they do? Holy moly. They do five damage. All right, I'm up here. This is crazy hard, guys. Victory! We were doing well, and then we all fell over. We lost all our bullets, unfortunately. Okay. Feedback. Each time one of the status... Uh is applied by the unit is removed, plus one damage dealt until the start of the next turn. Each time one of the statuses applied by the unit is removed. Each time the unit targets an ally with a special action, they recover 2 HP. Okay. Deal 3 damage, 3 HP of damage. And so his passive is things go down. Each time the unit contributes to attack, it reduces the cost of a special action by one. And then it gets the bonus action. So we could use this for free to a certain degree, but it does three HP. Range of four, straight line. Let's try knuckle up. I guess this is an action that can be put on an ally. Then he can gain back HP. I'm going to take this one for now. Okay, and then we've got... Deal 4 damage. 4 HP of damage. Just 4 damage to adjacent units. Okay. Move arrow to the target tile. Targeted tile. Deal 4 damage to adjacent units. So she does damage around her and then she jumps and does damage around her or 
or it's just one jump and then it explodes around her. I would say that's this thing. Stylish. Each time the unit hits at least two enemies in one attack, all participants gain two adrenaline. Charges a tile with range, deals five damage, no cover. Slicing rush. So it takes away their cover? Okay. Five isn't enough. They've all got like six health most of the time. Let's do this one, because with the sync attacks, that'll sync up, eventually. Holy moly. Guys, this is freaking tricky. I guess if I started, I'd want to kind of start again and move properly and potentially get the objectives, because we need this to be able to do killing people in one hit. Very interesting. I'm going to leave it here. Oh, enemy response in two missions. So we can go anywhere on the map and then the enemy responds within with two more missions that's kind of cool all right we'll leave it here guys and then i'll jump back in and we'll do some more this is this is really interesting there's a lot to learn and i'm liking it uh so if you guys like this yourself you can jump and try the demo you can grab it on steam you can wishlist the game help the developers you can like my video, which helps developers and myself, and you can subscribe to more videos like this and for the next episode that will come soon. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye fucking out.